Hi, I'm Rachel Peterson, otherwise known as Alex Anders in Orange Juice in Bishop's Garden, and here we are at Wasted Dream, and I just interviewed Jake Lazovic, and take a look. I'll tell you what's going on, or what's on my mind, all these regrets that I have aren't worth my precious time, so if I stay afloat that way, I'll never stand a chance, I keep telling myself to jump in, but I don't I am from Potomac, Maryland, which is a suburb of DC. And I guess I play, I'll define it all as like kind of DIY punk, which is like do-it-yourself punk, which is kind of, you know, if you want to do something, go ahead and do it. Well, when I was seven years old, on a car trip to New Jersey, my brother gave me a Blink-182 CD. And then ever since then, I was like getting a Blink-182 and Green Day and like The Offspring, and then eventually like No Effects and Rancid and Ramones, and I kind of just worked my way back into like hardcore punk, like Minor Threat. Right, right. And then eventually like when I was, I guess I started like playing guitar and like when I was 10, and then uh, just like was in a band like when I was 12, and like I just kept getting more into it, like kept playing shows, and eventually like booking shows. And when I started playing solo, I was really just trying to like, I think I was just trying to sound like Connor Oberst or something. I really like hearing songs that like don't have a typical structure. Right. Like a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. Right, yeah. But still like come off really catchy. The thing about DC is that because of its history with like bands like Minor Threat or like Fugazi, like kind of Discord things and Emaka things, like they've always had such like a strong like all ages, like five dollar show standpoint that it's never a problem here. Like growing up in DC, like I never was denied access to a show based on age. It seems big enough where there's almost like subsections, like there's like hardcore bands and there's like a whole experimental scene and then there'll be like some pop punk bands or DIY bands. Like if I wanted to go to Indiana or if I wanted to go to New York or Chicago or anywhere, if I just went there by myself, not playing a show, not having people I could stay with, I wouldn't probably meet that many people. Right, yeah. I wouldn't get to do as much. But because I'm like touring and a musician, people are very willing to be like, oh, let me help you out. You can stay on my floor. There's like a sense of community yeah. with like in the touring Yeah, scene. it's almost, it's weird. It's like, because I'm a musician, I get like, people are more willing to do things for me. <laughs> Bye.